So you guys might recall that Michael Ropo yesterday said this. If God even tells you that this person is fake, he has not told me, sir. Thank God for your spirituality, but I will not tag somebody fake because God told you. Okay. And we spoke about that. We spoke about doesn't the Bible help define or explain for us what exactly is the biblical direction in this particular thing. But then I saw another video on uh, Legion of Truth's video showing that there was something that uh, Arumi Osaye had actually said, which sounded almost like it was a response to him. And so I wanted us to go there and watch that. And this is someone along the lines of saying something like this. Is is the people that are in sin, he say yes, don't judge, don't judge. People that he wants to have a wide pool of people that can invite him to. So that's the video that <laughs> hey, legions of truths <laughs> edit. And so uh, very, very interesting, really well made. And so I, that's why I like having different type of channels out here because you really do get all the variety out of all these channels that you see. So I thought, let's go back and listen to what exactly Arumo Asai was saying. Now, remember, the video that, um, that he's referencing here of Arumo Asai, he's, he references about two videos. They might not be necessarily directly to, um, to Michael Ropo, but they do fit the Michael Ropo situation and the whole narrative that's happening around him. With him, sound, he sounds very weird right now, as we stated. Now, first of all, before I do that, uh, I always get questions about my set and stuff like that. Now, that might be because I'm, I've been in video for a while. And so I thought... Let me do my two minutes to show you guys the set as a whole. Hi. <laughs> so, first of all, what lights do I have? You'll note that I have a headlight over me. Uh, this headlight is the one that you are seeing right above me. So, if this light is off, we go back to the scene. Uh, this is what it looks like. If you come back here, you'll note that I have uh, this blue light. Then I have this light here. Then I have this small little moonlight thingy here just to increase the, the lighting that you see above there. And so I have that light as well. And then I have the light behind me. So it's this one, this light here, and then that light that lights up my thingy, my headlight, and I have my main light. And so that's the set there, I uh, thought to share. Uh, I always get questions about things like that. People always ask me, Ricky, how do you set up your, your lighting and all that kind of chess? And so when I do remember, when I'm shooting a video, I will tell you, I'll take a minute to, to share how I set it out and stuff. And so, um, and also it does count what camera I'm using because some of these lights, they can't take having direct light. Like that one, you can see they do have very good dynamic range. You can see they can take having a light. So it does matter what lights I am using and stuff. Even on this one, if I put it up, it still manages having me and that. So do consider that as well. Consider what camera you're using, how you can use the lights. All right. So... Let's get into this particular video. Thank you very much for watching it. It's the Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. So, these messages that's been coming out of Michael Ropo uh, been quite concerning for, for the most part. And so, the first video that he played of, Ar uh, of Arume Osai addressing these issues that uh, sound very closely to what Michael Ropo is saying was this part right here uh, and right here. Nice. Ah. Saying preachers are playing politics in order to gain favor and in that base defend falsehood and sin, further saying the true word of God causes division, in other words, a separation. 
Now, mm -hmm. let's watch this video. It's not every vessel that God speaks through. Even though there are so many preachers in Africa, God does not speak through most of them. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. And one of the ways you know mm. is to check if Christ is being formed in the lives of the people that are hearing what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And if you think about that point that he just made now, um, how do you know if Christ has been formed? The idea of uh, self-sacrifice going to be more converted to what Christ would have me become. And so a lot of people are being turned into carnal ideas. They're, the doctrine that they are being fed with are very much carnal ideas. And so very important point that he makes there. What he's doing is marketing and management and customer care. Jesus never sent. What he's trying to do is to make everybody like him. So he doesn't, he, you know, he's, he's, the people that are in sin, he say yes, don't judge, don't judge. People that he wants to have a wide pool of people that can invite him to preach. He's, the Bible says that if you are a man pleaser, you cannot be a servant of God. It means you have no... So there, if you listen, he does sound like he is addressing the micro ropo situation. Is that you can't, don't judge, don't judge. That's literally what micro ropo was saying. And right now, by the way, if you look at what, uh, what's his name? Anoy Sike. That's exactly what he's doing. John Anoy Sike. That's what he's doing. He's defending all these ideas by, it's like, why? <laughs> why go that far? False is false. <laughs> You don't have to. So that's a very great point that is made there. Witness, you are not a star of, of the end. That's why you need to do politics so that you can, you will not offend these people. Even if they are, they are departed from Jesus, you can use their platform and, you know, and get your honorarium. You became a thief long time ago. Look. Mm. Whenever the gospel of the kingdom is preached, it always separates men. Mm. If you want to walk with Jesus, you'll be separated from falsehood. That's very key. The idea that we are just kumbaya, kumbaya with Charlie's people that are preaching contrary and false. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't mean that we won't greet them. We'll greet them. But we must be very clear the separation between what they do and what we do. The two things are not the same. Yeah, we we'll see the hey, hey, how are you? Yeah, hey, you are still you are still a child. Right? <laughs> Doesn't change that you are still a child. You are still a very firm child at that. But the separation must be very clear. So being hunky dory and and shaking everybody's hands, which is what uh, Mike is doing. It's dodgy. It's dodgy, honestly, in my view. And I told the pastor, I said, this minister you are inviting mm -hmm. is deep in immorality. He investigated and found out that what I told him was true. But he was still inviting the guy because he said, the guy has gift. Is it not God that gave him the gift? I told him, you have lost your ministry today. But he's still doing something. Let us give him 10 years. Your minute, you lost, you lose your, if you didn't know, it's different. You believe there's something you can gain from filth. You don't know Jesus. You've never met him. You believe there's something you can gain from filth. You, you want to experience the gift from if you. <laughs> never met Jesus. Jesus it's a personality that we, he, he has long suffering. He'll give you a long rope so that you can repent. But that long rope, sin will always deceive people to think that God is slack. Mm. Busy, busy inviting him, and then they'll go, some captions, I look at them, I say, oh my God. Mm. <laughs> In fact, I cut off from him. I said, when I saw that post, I said, I will never stand with you again. That's, you see there, that's where, 
it shows that it sounds like he's, re he's referring to Michael Ropo because he says, no, uh, once I saw that post, he says, I will never stand next to you. And so it's very important. So it's not just what I was saying. Later on, when I checked back on Legion's channel, he had posted this video and I was like, oh, okay, so even Arumi Osai is saying exactly the same thing. That something is wrong when you are now seeking the validation of mandems who are false, who are rooted in falsehood. And you are saying, no, don't, don't judge, don't judge, because you, you want to be friends with them. And the way that he's doing, the way uh, Mike is doing it, is that he wants us to feel guilty, okay? He enrobes us in guilt so that he can clear his direction of association. If you want to go there, you go there. But don't, don't then turn the truth to falsehood. You know what they're doing is wrong. You don't want to call it out, it's fine. But you know what they're doing is wrong. Let us do it. Let us call them out. When you don't want to do it, Anger, it's fine. But then terming us to be wrong, because when you want to relate to them, that's where the error is. That's where the error is. The error comes when wrong now becomes right in your sight, so that you can relate to it. Mr. Rikshuality Show would do daily Christian commentary videos. Thanks to Legion's video right here that he makes. That's why I like having, you know, different kind of Christian, different kind of Christian uh, commentators and so forth. You will notice that I watch videos from this side and I tell you, because we all, it complements, you know, complements. He does videos the way he does it. You're able to see something else. I would personally, I wouldn't see some of these videos. <laughs> you know, some of the videos that he makes, I wouldn't see some of them. And so it's good to have all of us here. We have all different kind of Christians. You are able to see a, 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 a different viewpoint on that particular story. You see being real George. You see how he breaks down videos and how he brings out other videos that you don't know. At the end of the day, it's equipping. It enables one to define one's faith. Not to be dependent on a man. Okay, you might like Michael Ropo, but you can see the, the places of error. How can a preacher be okay with people who are false and say, no, the ones who are calling out false falsehood are the ones who are wrong? How? I don't understand how, how one can do that. How? No, because, you, because in your light, you've seen that is false. To me, it's, it's not been revealed. No, what's been revealed then? When Jesus was here, it was very clear that the Pharisees of his day were the problem. They had a false doctrine. He says, be careful of the ease of, of the ease of the Pharisees. Be careful of the doctrinal errors that they have. When now you are saying, no, leave them, they will repent. Maybe when they repent, <laughs> you know, then you would have closed them out. Yes, they must be closed out. The Bible says, rebuke them sharply so that others will learn. They must learn that we don't function like that here. In this house, there is order. Yeah, this is not flag. You know those people with the flag. Yeah, this is not that community where you can come here, you define whatever you want. We don't work like that. Here we have order. The Bible says God is not confused. He gave, he gave apostles, what not, he gave pastors for the equipping of the body. So we are not confused people. We have order here. Yeah, here and there we don't agree. Here and there we don't agree. But we, there is order still. I can understand there is order here. This is what the order is. I can understand prophetic churches. I can understand what the order is. But there is no confusion. Okay? And so there is order. There is doctrine that tells us how to go. But you can't see a false, falsehood and say, no, leave them. And then you tell us to be the ones who are wrong. Something is wrong <laughs> with you. Why do you want? Why, why is that your direction? The Reality Show would do daily Christian commentary videos. I'll see you on the next episode. Other episodes done today, they'll be down in the pinned comments. So check them out and I'll see you over there. Y'all have a good one.